Introduction to Algorithm of Subtraction Hello friends, I am your friend the parrot and I welcome you to this topic. Come on, let us see what you will learn in this lesson. How to subtract a small number from a large number in a systematic way. Today, Chotu has gone for his friend Sono's birthday party. Look, there are so many balloons. While leaving, Chotu decides to take seven balloons with him. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven. Now I will take these seven balloons home and play with them. On the way, he meets his friend Aarti. She has just returned from her grandma's place in another city. Oh wow Chotu, these are such colorful balloons. Yes Aarti, I will take them home and play with them. Do you also want some balloons? Yes Chotu, can you please give me three balloons? Yes Aarti, take these three balloons. Thank you Chotu. Then after reaching home, he shows all the balloons to his mother. Look mummy, I got these balloons to play with from Sonu's birthday party. Oh wow Chotu, how many balloons did you get? I got seven balloons from the party. But on the way, I met Aarti and I gave three balloons to her. So now can you tell me, if out of the seven balloons, you gave three balloons to Aarti, then how many balloons are left with you? Yes, mummy, I have four balloons left with me. Very good, Chotu. You are absolutely right. So friends, in this example, you saw that if from seven balloons, we subtract three balloons, then four balloons are left. Come, let us see how to write this in a systematic way. On subtracting 3 from 7, 4 are left. 7 minus 3 equals 4. Did you understand children? So now, if out of these 4 balloons, 2 balloons burst, then how many balloons are left? Yes, 2 balloons. Can you also write this in systematic way? On subtracting 2 from 4, 2 are left. This means 4 minus 2 equals to 2. Did you have fun subtracting the number of balloons? That is all for today. In this video, we learned how to subtract a small number from a large number that too in a proper and systematic way. In the next video, we will see some more interesting examples of writing the subtraction of two numbers in a systematic way. Till then, my friends. Examples of Algorithm of Subtraction Part 1 so children, in the previous video, you learned how to subtract a small number from a large number in a systematic way. In this video, we will see some more interesting examples of writing the subtraction of two numbers in a systematic way. Pinky is strolling in the garden with her mother. She sees some butterflies on a bunch of flowers. Mummy, look, there are such beautiful and colorful butterflies. Yes, Pinky. Can you tell me how many butterflies are there on that bunch of flowers? Yes, Mummy. There are eight butterflies on it. Very good, Pinky. You are absolutely right. Pinky goes a little closer to the flowers to see the butterflies more closely. And three butterflies fly away. Oh ho! Three butterflies flew away. Out of eight butterflies, three butterflies flew away. So how many butterflies are left on the flower? 
five butterflies are left, Mummy. Very good, Pinky. You are absolutely right. So, children, you saw that if we subtract three from eight, then five is left. Can you write this in a systematic way? Yes. This is how we will write it in a systematic way. Eight minus three equals to five. Friends, do you know that we can write this in another way also? You don't know? Don't worry, I will tell you. We can also write it in this way. First, there were a total of eight butterflies, so we will write the total number on top. Then three butterflies flew away, so below the total number, we will put the subtraction sign and write the number that got reduced. Then we will write the remaining number, which is five butterflies. So children, from eight butterflies, three butterflies flew away, so five butterflies were left. You have understood, right? Come on. Now let's go back to Pinky and her mother in the garden. Now Pinky goes a little more close to the flowers to see the remaining five butterflies more closely. As soon as she goes near the flowers, all five butterflies fly away. Oh, mummy! All five butterflies flew away. Don't worry, Pinky. There are so many butterflies in this garden. You will see them on some other flower. So, children, now can you tell me if out of the five butterflies, all the five butterflies flew away, then how many butterflies are left? There are not even a single butterfly left on the flower. This means zero butterfly was left. You also got the same answer, right? Very good. So, children. Did you see that if we subtract five from five, then zero is left? Come on, now let us write this also in a systematic way. You also wrote it like this, right? Great. That was all for today. In this video, we learned how to represent the subtraction of two numbers in different systematic ways. In the next video, we will see some more interesting examples and learn about some common mistakes that should not be made. Till then, bye friends! Examples of Algorithm of Subtraction Part 2 So children, in the previous video, you learned how to represent the subtraction of two numbers in different systematic ways. In this video, we will see some more interesting examples of subtraction and learn about some common mistakes that should not be made. Today is Sunday. Tomorrow is Aarti's birthday, who is Chotu and Pinky's friend. Pinky has brought four toffees for Aarti. Pinky, please give me one toffee. No, Chotu. These four toffees are for Aarti. I can't give you even one of these. I will get more toffees for you tomorrow. Oh, okay. Fine, Pinky. So, children, out of the four toffees, Pinky did not give even a single toffee to Chotu. This means she gave only zero toffee. We can also write this in this way. Can you tell me the answer? Do you think the answer for this will be zero? No, right? The answer will be four. You also got the same answer, right? Very good. This means four minus zero equals to 4. If we subtract 0 from a number, that is if nothing is subtracted, then the answer is that number itself. Did you understand? Okay, now I will make a birthday card for Aarti. There are so many colorful pencils in that box. Can you give me some of those pencils, Chotu? 
Yes. Take these, Pinky. Thank you, Chotu. So, children, first there were nine pencils in the pencil box. And Chotu gave some of them to Pinky. Now, there are six pencils left in the box. So, can you tell me how many pencils did Chotu give to Pinky? Come on, let's see. First, there were nine pencils. If we take out one pencil from them, then there will be eight pencils left. If we take out two pencils, then there will be seven pencils left. If we take out three pencils, then there will be six pencils. This means Chotu gave three pencils to Pinky. We can solve this in another way. There were nine pencils in the box and after Chotu took some pencils, six pencils were left. This means out of nine pencils, six pencils were left. So Chotu must have taken these three pencils. That means nine minus three equals to six. So children, that was all for today. In this video, we learned how to solve the subtraction questions in a systematic way. I hope you have understood this topic properly. Bye friends!